When Anakin Skywalker was first brought before the Jedi Council, the first thing they sensed was his fear and his attachment to his mother. Having been raised by his mother to a far older age than standard Jedi initiates, Anakin possessed a strong attachment that most Jedi never held. This connection to his mother initially caused the Council to deny accepting Anakin into their ranks. However, to honor the wishes of the fallen master Qui-Gon Jinn, the Council allowed Obi-Wan Kenobi to take Anakin as his Padawan learner. One criticism that is frequently brought up by fans in comments relates to the Jedi Order never rescuing Anakin's mother Shmi from slavery on Tatooine, and I think the general idea is that if Anakin's mother was safe and never died, he never would have fallen to the dark side. However, the idea of rescuing a Jedi's mother goes against the teachings of the Order and the Jedi Code. Not only that, but the difficult situation of slavery and the political aspects of Tatooine's place outside of the Republic also played an important role in Shmi's fate. The canon book Skywalker A Family at War and the Legends book The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader actually explain why the Jedi Order refused to rescue her from the life of a slave. During his early years in the Jedi Order, Anakin had trouble understanding their ways. Initially, he had no understanding and therefore little respect for the Force, and he wondered why this all-powerful energy field would allow so many terrible things to happen in the galaxy. Since the Jedi heralded him as the Chosen One, Anakin was confused as to why he was not allowed to use his power to free his mother from slavery. However, Anakin's wish to free his mother was deeply mired in politics that also caused him great frustration. For centuries, the Jedi Order acted as moral guides to those who wandered the galaxy, helping those in need learn the skills to help themselves. In this manner, the Jedi maintained peace in the galaxy, at least on the planets under Republic control. As such, the Jedi were so intertwined with the politicians in the Galactic Senate that it was virtually impossible for them to act without the Republic's consent. Young Anakin had great difficulty understanding the rules that governed the scope of the Jedi's activities. In Anakin's opinion, the Order's reluctance to intervene and help systems outside of the Republic went against the very principles of the Jedi. He also had trouble adjusting to an environment that discouraged anger as well as attachment, as such emotions could cloud a Jedi's judgment and lead to negative thoughts and actions. As such, Anakin could not stop himself from resenting the fact that the Jedi Order discouraged contact with relatives. Countless times, Obi-Wan had explained to him that every Jedi had to obey the directives of the Jedi Council and could never use the Force for selfish purposes. He urged Anakin to consider how freeing one slave on Tatooine might lead to the deaths of others, as some slavers might prefer to destroy their property than release them from bondage. The Jedi also had to answer to the Senate, and at that time, the Senate had very little interest in anything that happened on Tatooine, an Outer Rim planet beyond the Republic's jurisdiction. These reminders did not quell Anakin's frustration, as he still wondered why beings as powerful as the Jedi had to answer to anyone. Personally, I don't think that the Jedi should have rescued Shmi from slavery, because those attachments are exactly what led Anakin to fall to the dark side. First, it was his attachment to his mother, and then his attachment to Padme. It goes against the teachings of the Jedi to have contact with your relatives and foster that attachment. And honestly, I don't think that rescuing Shmi would have changed anything. Anakin still would have been in love with Padme and he would have done anything to keep her from dying. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And may the Force be with you.